today's spice box, I'm going to be making a dish which is not only famous throughout the Chinese diaspora, but also one of the most popular dishes on the Chinese menu. Well, I'm talking about the chow mein. Now, chow actually means fried. In the American cuisine, it consists of noodles with meat, chicken being the most common, while shrimp, pork and beef being a substitute. Today, I'm going to be making chow mein with chicken. To make the chow mein, you'll need some chicken, boiled noodles, sprouts, cornstarch, oil, pepper, five spice powder, chili sauce, soy sauce, red bell pepper, and some spring onions. So I'm going to start marinating the chicken with cornstarch. So I'm going to be putting in one tablespoon of cornstarch powder. Combine all of this till each of the chicken piece is coated. Once the chicken is coated, next you add the five spice powder. And you add the chili sauce. That's one and a half teaspoon. Combine all of this. And finally, you add the soy sauce. That's one and a half teaspoon of soy sauce. Now you allow this to marinate for five minutes. In a large skillet, heat some oil. Once the oil is hot, you can start tossing in the chicken. You allow this to cook for 5 to 10 minutes or till the chicken is cooked. So the chicken is cooked, now you can toss in the bell peppers. You stir fry this for a minute or two. After that, you can toss in the sprouts. It's a nice stir. And allow this to cook for four to five minutes. Now you can add the spring onions. Stir this up. Once combined well, then you can add the chow mein. That's the noodles. So I have my boiled noodles here. After you've combined all of this, Turn off the heat and season with pepper and some soy sauce. So that's a teaspoon of soy sauce which I'm adding. And you can add a teaspoon of pepper powder. So my delicious chow mein is ready. Steamed chow mein is a lot more softer in texture, while the fried version is a lot more crispier and drier. Now, the fried version is often served with hamburger style bun as a chow mein sandwich. The difference between these two is the fried version uses flat noodles, while the softer version uses long round noodles. You can prepare this dish with some fresh crunchy vegetables using she wheat flour noodle that can be easily cooked in boiling water.